I was just reminded, uh, let me digress a minute. Um, I, 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 I'm in my first feature film, opening up October 24th in New York City. Uh, I play myself, a ruthless, uh, bastard, mogul businessman, which isn't a far stretch for me at all. Uh, and uh, virtually all the scenes are on the golf course with uh, my uh, mentee, the Mike, the pizza boy, limo driver, to movie mogul. And it comes out, it's New York premiere is October 24th. The movie's called Mikey Boy. You can run the, what do you call it, the, the parts of the movie, the... Anyway, you can see the clips of the movie. The trailer. Yeah, trailer, that. I have a speak, well, I'm actually listed on the credits. And for those of you that are in the uh, entertainment in industry, if I come back, I'm going to come back as an actor because it's an easy fucking gig for idiots. You know, if you can't memorize five or six lines and hit your mark in front of the camera, you should blow your fucking brains out. And um, so I'm looking forward to uh, seeing it. And then it appears, I don't know if it's a uh, con film festival or uh, one of those film festivals, uh, and it goes on from there. But this is a guy that I've written about several times. He came to me when he was 25, 26, and he says, I want to make motion pictures like Steven Spielberg, Mr. Pena. Another mentee introduced me to him. And I said, what do you do now? He says, I fling pizzas. <clears throat> it's a far stretch. I got a black belt in something. I forget what he's got a black belt in, but you know. Uh, and I said, well, the easiest way to meet uh, <clears throat> movie stars in Hollywood, because that's where we work, is be a limo driver. You meet a lot of people. And he actually did what I said. Unlike a lot of you, he actually fucking did what I said. And uh, he met these people, uh, he got, uh, uh, he started being a bit player, an actor, etc. Uh, and um, then he's made a couple of small movies, a, uh, executive director, and stuff, stuff like that. And now his first movie, um, Mikey Boy is the name of the movie. It's, uh, and it's quite inspirational, you know, from pizza boy to movie mogul. And that's the movie that I'm in, and uh, I'm his mentor. And, just as importantly, his girlfriend, Jennifer, who's 22 years old, uh, through his inspiration or my inspiration and my help or his help, um, at age 22, she's bought, uh, purchased two big Pilates studios in Palos Verdes, uh, California, uh, and uh, self-financed, and they're quite a couple. And she's a real good looking girl. I had some of, her, of the pictures I had with them. Uh, on Facebook recently, and she's a good kid, very, very nice. Neither, neither of them drink or smoke. All they do is work. Very non-European. Very non-European. Okay. Now this slide doesn't matter what the morons say. It's just perfect timing for the idiots that are listening to me. Most of you are advised by morons. Hence, it's very difficult for you not to do moronic things. This is a line from Evita, uh, the story of Eva Perón, who was the wife, the vice president of Argentina, the wife of the president, who died at a young age. <clears throat> and uh, that um, I tell my kids and my kids today, it's, it doesn't matter what the morons say. And since most of us associate with morons, what I'm saying is it doesn't matter what your family thinks, it doesn't matter what your parents think. It doesn't matter what idiots think. You surround yourself with smart people and you get smart advice. Unfortunately, most people that listen to this YouTube are surrounded by idiots. So it's very difficult for them to get good advice. In fact, it's by happenstance, by accident, if they get any good advice. Doesn't matter whether you're Australian, German, Austrian, Dutch, or a gypsy Roman that just left the room. Or you're American, or you're Scottish, like the girl behind the camera. We all meander. And Napoleon Hill said, we meander, we go to the, the, the uh, possibility of least resistance, like a river. We meander. And that's unfortunate. Instead of having a definite purpose, instead of having taking action, executing, and implementing. That's how we were raised. And that's how we will continue to act.
Now, these YouTubes that we do, we just started doing the, what, the last year and a half? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, are to give people a flavor <clears throat> of what high, how, one, how high performance people talk, two, what I'm trying to do here. And the interesting thing about it is, is, is tomorrow and the next day we talk about communication. Communication is message sent, message received, message acted upon when you want them to act upon it, not when they get around to it. And yes, high performance people use bad words. Categorically. And as I said, I think in the first film part about the devil uh, wears Prada, watch that movie because that is how a high performance lady or man executive acts. And if you've never worked for somebody like Meryl Streep in the movie, and the name of the, the uh, magazine she supposedly ran was Runaway, you haven't worked for a high performance person. Because that's how they act. They, she acts no different than the average New York City executive. Upper New York City executive. Let alone somebody that runs a big magazine like she does in the movie. That's the real world of high performers. That's the world world that I came out of. And that's the real world that many of you aspire to be in. So I tell the people, there's a lot of content on my site. It's for free. Look at it. You look at the YouTubes. And hopefully it'll help you change. Until tomorrow morning, guys, thank you very much.